Make a Kado Avocado just revealed that he lost 250 pounds and his entire channel was a social experiment made to manipulate you. But how is any of this even possible, or is this just another manic episode? Seven months ago, Nikocado Avocado was at his worst. He looked like a maniac, talked like a maniac, and even needed oxygen masks just to stay alive. He would eat tables full of McDonald's covered in cheese, bags of Takis, and plates full of rainbow-colored ramen noodles. It seemed like his life was over, so how did he lose that much weight in just seven months? But better yet, why did his entire attitude change, and were we just puppets being manipulated all along? Well, the answer actually actually starts in a video posted 7 months ago. This video, simply titled Bye, is a tragic breakdown that makes his other videos look like he's actually having a good time or that he's happy. Ikikado shares a heartbreaking reflection on his life, revealing a deep dissatisfaction with the entire journey on YouTube. This video, which spans over 40 minutes, feels different from his usual emotional breakdowns. Instead of a total freakout, it's just plain sad. I'm not happy. I don't like what I've done. I don't like what I've become, I don't like what I look like, I don't like my followers. <laughs> Nikocado's discontent isn't just with his content or his appearance, but with the entirety of his life's decisions. He admits that choosing YouTube was the wrong decision and that he is full of regret, even to the point of considering it's the worst decision he has ever made. My life was going great. So I decided to do this YouTube life. A fun way to live my life. And I'm sitting here thinking, I have thrown away the best years of my life. Nikocado is visibly distressed, and within the first 24 seconds, he's already on the verge of tears. And to make matters worse, he warns his audience that he's on the edge of a breakdown. I am just going to tell you right off the bat, I'm on the edge of a breakdown. Like, most likely by the end of this video, I'm going to be flipping out. It's one of those moments in life where you know that you're on the <laughs> You know that you really want to <laughs> and you know you shouldn't. What follows next is a deeply raw confession about how fame, fortune, and the pursuit of YouTube success has brought him nothing but misery. Ikakato admits that if he could turn back time, he would have never started YouTube in the first place. I wish I could turn back the clock. I wish I could go back in time. I wish I would never have done YouTube. I wish I would have never decided that this would be a fun way to bake a living, that this would be a fun way to have a life, this would be a fun way to provide for my family. What he once saw as an exciting way to build a career has now become a source of torment. He opens up about the toll his career has taken on his mental health, as he faces the daily onslaught of viewers who wither and just don't care about the state of his life. And Nick Okado believes that they're only there to make fun of his show or to be actively hostile towards him. My job is to face people who hate me, who don't care for me, that don't they aren't even interested in me. They're here to see someone fat. They're here for someone fat. A pizza is then delivered in the video, and Nick becomes pretty happy. But tragically, that only lasts for a second, and it's quickly overshadowed by an unsettling realization that even the food, the central element of his entire career, brings him no pleasure anymore. I don't like this! I don't like this! I don't like this! I had goals, I had dreams, and I threw it all away to eat food. While many may have just assumed that Nikocado's frustrations stem mostly from his career, his financial situation adds another layer of complexity. Despite over 1.8 billion views across his entire career and five different YouTube channels, Nikocado claims that he's barely made any money over the last two to three years. And the irony is I've barely made any money for the past two, three years. It wasn't even worth it. I barely made any money. And the money I did make, I lost. This money could easily last someone for a lifetime, yet he insists that any money he has made has been spent, lost, or didn't happen in the first place, leaving him in a dire financial position. But tragically, this also makes you wonder, how did he lose this money in the first place? One of Nick Okado's biggest regrets is abandoning his passion for music, particularly the violin, which once gave him a sense of purpose. Reflecting on his former life as a musician, he describes how playing the violin had a much deeper impact on people than his current content ever could. But sadly, due to his current physical state, he is unable to play the violin, with his fingers now too large to fit between the strings. 
Ikikado's violin career was impressive. He attended the prestigious Juilliard School on a full scholarship and achieved numerous accolades as a musician. And what Nikikado misses most from his time as a musician isn't just the respect from others, but the pride that he felt in himself. And they're so vivid too, my memories as a performer. They're so vivid. My final year before starting all this, I was in three different shows and I had a sense of pride, a sense of honor. A sense of happiness. In stark contrast to his musical career, his mukbang videos now fill him with emptiness. He no longer feels any motivation or passion for the content that he creates. And the real question is, why wouldn't he just quit YouTube and move on? He admits that he's considerate, but the thought of walking away terrifies him. The worst part is I have an escape route that I'm so afraid to take. At the time of this video, Nick had lost 89 pounds, but was still unsatisfied. I'm clean, it's like a dead relationship. You're clinging to something dead. Like, stop living in the past. If it hasn't changed by now, it's not going to change. 411 pounds. I recently lost 89 pounds. Um, but I'm still morbidly obese. I can't even fit in a chair. I mean, these chairs I can fit in because there's no arms. Like, I look skinny because, you know, cut my hair, you know, got a little water weight off the sides. My rolls are off the chair. Like, they're off the chair. For what? For what? I mean, for what? I'm not making money like I used to. It gets worse every year. People hate me more every year. As the video progresses, Nick Okado acknowledges that his current path is clearly unsustainable. Nick ended this video with the painful realization that he's stuck in a dead end cycle, clinging to a life that he no longer finds joy in. And I had a sense of pride, a sense of happiness. So what happened next? Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. Ikakado just uploaded a video titled Two Steps Ahead, and it's nothing short of one of the most insane redemption arcs the internet has ever seen. But oddly, it's also quite creepy and leaves us with even more questions than before. In his own words, Nico said that he had long viewed the internet as a vast experiment, a playground for influence, manipulation, and distraction. He revealed that he loved his role as the villain, observing his audience with a twisted amusement as they consume stories about his life, his health, and his downward spiral. He claims that his entire persona had been meticulous meticulously crafted to keep viewers hooked. He had become the villain, he knew what the people wanted him to be, feeding into the cycle of consumption, self-destruction, and viral moments. His followers, or ants as he called them, were helpless to resist the drama and chaos that he continued to serve them video after video. It's alluring, it's compelling, it's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories. For years, Nikikado's content capitalized on this exact dynamic. He embraced his notoriety, playing the role of the tragic, self-destructive figure for millions of viewers. And they watched. The spectacle of his unraveling life became a form of entertainment, a digital train wreck people couldn't look away from. But then, everything changed. In a turn that no one saw coming, Nikikado stopped playing the part. He woke up one day and chose a different story. Today, I woke up from a very long dream. And I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body. In a world that labels him as fat, sick, boring, and irrelevant, Nikikado shocked his audience by shedding not only the weight, but his toxic persona that people knew him for so long. The man who once gorged on massive plates of fast food and emotional outbursts has become unrecognizable. Not just in his physical appearance, but his outlooks on life. This is not the same Nikikado who spent years spiraling down a path of self-destruction. This seemed like a man who had reclaimed control. For years, his audience had played into the narrative that Nikikado was a lost cause, someone who couldn't or wouldn't change. But apparently, now the joke is on them. He has always been two steps ahead, and this time he's taken the steps towards his own redemption. Yet just yesterday, People were calling me fat and sick and boring and irrelevant. 
So what happened? How did he lose all of this weight in such a short amount of time? Well, so far, there's been no conclusive statement from Nikocado, but we could speculate on a few ways that he could have done this. The first and most likely avenue was some sort of a weight loss drug such as Ozempic to cure his insane hunger and make him lose weight in such a short period of time by not eating. But this might not necessarily be the case, as we could still see him eat lots of food even now that he's skinny. The second option is you could have had a fat loss surgery, which is a quick way to literally shave off multiple pounds of weight in the span of just a few hours. And this might be the way that he did it, but there's also a third alternative. Nikocado hasn't been posting for the past seven months, but it's entirely possible that he hasn't been making content for years. Who's to say that he didn't record a bunch of mukbangs all in the span of a few days and post them over the span of a few months or even years? It's entirely possible that he could have just been uploading videos that were years old, all the while he was on his weight loss journey and we didn't even know it. This redemption arc isn't just about losing weight, it's about breaking free from the toxic cycle that has defined his career for years. Nikocado had spent years as a character, a larger than life figure feeding off drama and destruction that surrounded him. But now, he's turned that energy towards something productive, leaving behind the chaos and in doing so, achieving something even more compelling, a second act two steps ahead. And for Nikocado Avocado, the story is is just getting started. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead. <laughs>